So in this video, we're going to find out where uh, two lines intersect. So let's just start by writing down the equation for the lines. So let's say that we have line 1 is going to have the equation uh, it will be equal to some point plus a scalar times the direction vector. So the point is p, the scalar is s, and the direct direction vector is u. Now we want to find where the intersect, so we're going to have to have two lines. So let's do it in a different color, and let's say that um, line 2 is going to be equal to another point q plus a different uh, scalar times another direction vector, let's call that v. Alright, so now what we have to say is these basically both have to equal each other if they're intersecting, otherwise they'd be parallel and they would just never touch or they'd be lying on top of each other. So there's going to be one point where these lines intersect and let's call that point, um, let's say, let's call this, uh, this is equal to x and also this would equal this point x. And so we're going to say that such that x is um, a point in this case, we're actually going to do this in three dimensions. So let's say as the coordinates x, y, and z. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is let's just give some values to our points and direction vectors, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we'll keep it uh, in the same colors here. So line one, um, let's say that uh, point P, let's say point P is equal to 1, 0, negative 1. Okay, and let's say that u, let's say that u is just equal to 1, 1, 1. Okay, perfect. So we'll switch colors again. And now let's say that q for the equation 2, or line 2, q, let's say that's equal to 0, 2, 1. And let's say that v, its direction vector, is equal to um, 3, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, perfect. So what we're saying here basically is these are both equal to x, right? So we can say that x is equal to, well, it's equal to everything here. It's going to be equal to this whole statement. And the whole statement we're going to make is that um, p plus su is equal to um, q that's equal to uh, q plus plus t v. All right, perfect. So we're saying that this this whole thing is, is equal to x, right? They both have to equal x. So let's start by filling in these values. Okay, so we have point P. I'll write it below. So point P is 1, 0, negative 1, plus s times u, and u is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, there we go. And this is equal to, we'll just keep the same color so you can see where this is coming from. Um, this is equal to q, which is 0, 2, 1, let's write that, 0, 2, 1, plus t times v. And v is 3, negative 1, negative 1. All right, perfect. So what we want to do here is let's just put, let's rearrange this so we have our um, our terms with the scalars on one side and everything else on the other side. So let's keep the s on this side. And we'll have s times one 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 plus. Now we have, or sorry, this would be minus minus because we've brought it over to this side now. Minus t times 3, minus 1, minus 1. Okay, perfect. And this will be equal to 0, 2, 1, minus, because we've brought it over now, the vector 1, 0, negative 1. All right, perfect. And then let's just uh, let's simplify this a little bit, and we get... Um, Actually, no, we're just going to switch all over into black anyways. <laughs> uh, it's, that's unnecessary to keep switching colors. So anyways, we get, well, this S, this will be S, S, S in three lines here, right? S times 1, S times 1, and S times 1. Minus T times 3, so minus um, 3T, and this will be plus T, and this would be plus T, right? 
That's just uh, scalar multiplication of a vector. And we combine these two, we will get is equal to minus 1, is equal to 2, and is equal to 2 again. Okay, so now we have a system of linear equations here, and we want to turn this into its augmented matrix. So let's start up here, writing the augmented matrix, and we get um, 1 minus 3 minus 1. The next row would be 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, and the third row is also 1, 1, 2. Okay, perfect. So right away we want to eliminate the bottom row. We can see just subtracting row 2 from row 3 will give us a row of zeros. So let's write that here. We have um, row 3 minus row 2. And this will turn this up. Well, the first two rows will stay the same. 1 minus 3 minus 1. The second row, sorry, minus 1. The second row will be 1, 1, 2. And the third row becomes a row of zeros. Perfect. Okay, so the next step we do is we want to eliminate this one, so we'll just have row 2 minus row 1. And then we can write that down here. The top row will stay the same. Again, 1 minus 3 minus 1. Uh, the second row now is 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus negative 3 is 4. And 2 minus negative 1 is 3. And we get still on the bottom, the row of zeros doesn't change. Okay, so now to get row echelon form, this leading variable has to be a 1. So we're going to divide the second row by 4, or just uh, multiply row 2 by 1 fourth. Okay, perfect. So, top row stays the same. We have 1, minus 3, um, so that's minus 1, still. Um, <clears throat> then we get 0, and 1, and 3 fourths. And then again, 0, 0, 0. Okay, perfect. So now, last step to get a reduced row echelon form is we have to turn this negative 3 into a 0. And so we will get that um, by adding 3 times r2 to r1. So r1 plus 3 times r2. And that will get us down here. Um, well, we'll have 1, 0, and then negative 4 fourths plus 3 times 3 fourths, that's 9 fourths, uh, that will give us 5 fourths, positive 5 fourths. Okay, perfect. And so then we get 0, 1, 3 fourths, and 0, 0, 0. And if you remember from over here in the system of linear equations, this column here represents the vector s, and this column here represents the vector T. So if we worked this out back into a system, we would find out that uh, indeed s here is equal to 5 fourths and t here is equal to 3 fourths. 3 fourths. There we go. So now what we want to do is we just want to prove that um, the vector x, y, z, remember up here, is equal to both of these uh, both of these equations, P plus SU and Q plus TV. Well, now we have S and T, so we can finish these equations. So let's write this down here. Let's change colors again. Just, uh, this is the last little part. So we want to say that um, vector X, Y, Z is equal to, uh, let's start off here. Let's, P plus SU, that was equal to um, 1, 0 negative 1 plus 5 fourths, remember that's s, times u, which is 1, 1, 1. And let's see what we get. Well, we'll get 9 fourths on the top. And then in the middle, 0 plus 5 fourths, we get, again, 5 fourths. And then in the bottom, uh, negative 1, uh, so negative 4 fourths plus 5 fourths we get. 1 fourth. So this is our solution here to x, y, z in vector form. Or we can say that this is um, as x is equal to 9 fourth, y is equal to 5 fourths, or z is equal to 1 fourth. Okay, that's, that's perfect. And now let's just see if this is also equal to um, the same value, the same column vector here, if we did it with q plus tv. So we want to see is x, y, z is equal to the same thing. 
So we have 0 to 1, 0 to 1, that was Q, and then plus S, um, it's 3 fourths. 3 fourths times, almost done, we have 3, negative 1, negative 1. Okay, perfect. So this is equal to, well, 0 plus 3 times 3 fourths, that's 9 fourths. So looking good so far. 9 fourths, um, so 8 fourths minus 3 fourths, that's going to be 5 fourths. And 4 fourths minus 3 fourths, that's going to be equal to 1 fourth. Perfect. So these are equal to each other, and we get our solution. Um, these lines intersect at the point that has the coordinates uh, that you can see here.